In the lush greenery of Oregon lies a farm that's more than just land and crops. It's a saga of love, family, and the relentless tide of change. Amy Roloff, our beloved matriarch from Little People, Big World, recently shared her heartache over the transformation of the iconic Roloff Farms, a place that once pulsated with the joy and laughter of family gatherings. Now shadows of memories in the wake of new beginnings. During a cozy meetup in Portland, amidst the clinking of glasses and the soft murmur of the city, Amy confides in her friends Lisa and Deb. The air is thick with anticipation as Amy delves into the bittersweet changes that have swept over her once cherished home. There's no life to it, she says, the words heavy with a sorrow that echoes the loss of a loved one. The catalyst for this emotional upheaval? Matt Roloff, Amy's ex-husband, and his fiancée Karen Chandler are building their dream house on the farm, a monument to their new life together. But for Amy, this house represents more than just bricks and mortar. It's a symbol of a divided family, a beacon of what could have been. The conversation deepens as Deb mentions Matt's construction project, sparking a visible shift in Amy. Yeah, a huge house, she responds, her voice a mix of resignation and disbelief. Lisa, ever the empath, probes further, asking about the dynamic shift this new house introduces to the farm. After a moment of reflection, Amy admits, it's like a whole different lifetime. It feels empty. This isn't just about real estate. It's about a legacy left in limbo. Amy muses over the potential of the farm as a haven for her children and future grandchildren, a dream now clouded by uncertainty. It just saddens me that the family's broken, she confesses, revealing the heart of her turmoil. In a confessional-style introspection, Amy reflects on the seismic shifts that divorce and disagreements have brought to their family dynamic. Yet, in her words, there's a glimmer of hope, a testament to the human spirit's resilience. You have a choice. How long do you leave it broken, or is there a way to help heal it? That will take time, she contemplates, suggesting a path to reconciliation and healing. Meanwhile, life marches on. Amy, alongside her new partner Chris Merrick, ventures into the next chapter, house hunting for a place to call their retirement haven. Matt, for his part, isn't just building a home, he's also launched a short-term vacation rental venture on the farm, a move that stirred more than just the soil. The plot thickens as Matt drops a bombshell, declaring his intention to leave the farm to Amy should anything happen to him, by passing their children. This revelation sends ripples through the family, revealing the deep undercurrents of unresolved tensions and unspoken grievances. The saga takes another turn as we peer into the strained relationship between Matt and his son Zach, along with Zach's wife Tori. Their infrequent visits to the farm and silence on Karen's engagement paint a portrait of a family at a crossroads, navigating the complex terrain of loyalty, love, and loss. In a dramatic climax, Zach announces his departure from Little People, Big World after 25 seasons, marking the end of an era and the beginning of an uncertain future. The farm, once a symbol of unity and dreams, now stands as a testament to the inexorable march of time and the evolution of relationships. So there you have it, friends, a story about love, loss, and the complexities of moving forward. What do you think of Amy's reflections and the family dynamics in this story? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if this story touched your heart, give us a like, subscribe for more juicy updates, and click on the bell icon to never miss the latest gossip. Until next time, keep shining, keep smiling, and remember that there's always another layer to the story. Bye, darlings. It's Julie, signing off.